taking the GTR back to the local drag strip because they're having a race tonight or whatever. Unfortunately, I don't think the GTR is in good enough shape for us to really race it and push it hard. She's close, but not there just yet. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and see what kind of cool cars pull up. Hopefully, that Skyline, the other Skyline that was a RB28 fully built, but shows back up with some Supras or just whatever cool cars pull up other than Mopars because I'm I don't really want to see those guys. Um, no offense. We got Mrs. TYB. We got both of little brothers. It's little bros. Happy birthday. So say everybody say happy birthday to Jovan. Good downshift with the boys. Also, since the last video, this car shoots fat flames now. All right, y'all, we have made it. Welcome to Paradise. The homies at Plus One Paradise got us a nice little clutch spot right in front of everybody. I think these are the people that are gonna be racing. We're still pretty early, so everybody's still pulling up. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cars that are gonna be drag racing tonight. <coughs> now y'all know I'm not huge on American muscle, but when it comes to these and those, and the C7 and the C6, see, that, that's when I start being like, okay, I can mess with it. I walked past this, I didn't even notice that fat ass. Damn. Your fat ass head, boy. Yeah. Boy, got the big blower popping out the hood. This thing sounded pretty mean when it pulled up. We'll see what it does on the track later. Susie, I got that shit, though. <laughs> in my comments and this isn't me just saying that people have actually been asking where's your homie D uh -huh. D is right here and I told you he was cooking up some some fire shit and as you can see by that if you know why he has that you should know what's coming next and you redid the uh, you repainted that or you had somebody else repaint it okay that thing looks shit oh my god bro it runs so good bro like it's just idling perfect like before it would idle like really aggressive like and it didn't sound bad but it just sounded fucking mean this just sounds like perfect like nothing everything is just running flawlessly that boy got that good shit jeez bro brand new turb ski Yeah, that's risky. That uh, rock get in there. It's your whole. That's over. Give me a run through. What what changed? Uh, basically, it's a whole. It's a full uh, turbo. Yeah. It's a full uh, HKS GT 4 R turbo kit. Um, yeah, so. but I looked up the price on this shit. Yeah. I was like, bro, are you Bill Gates? The fuck? It came with everything I needed uh -huh. for me to do everything in my garage. Just so, pretty much both on, both off? Yeah, take the cold turbos off, put this thing on. It comes all the way with a down pipe that goes all the way down to my mm -hmm. test pipe. And everything bolts up perfectly. Jeez, bro. Yeah. The only thing I had to buy was this. Mm -hmm. It's a $40 pipe off of Amazon. It's a 90 degree elbow. So literally not even yeah. just regular That's shit. That's all I had to do. Bro, and then this is new. Yeah, so this costs, this was 500 bucks just for this catch can. 
Jeez. And I was skeptical about getting it, but mm -hmm. I was like, I'm fixing up this engine bay, so I might as well just get it. Uh, yeah, so that's 500 bucks off of uh, some Australian. Both, most of this stuff is Australian. Oh, like, good. Uh, Australians build the best yeah, GTRs, honestly, so. Honestly, um, I had to take mm. all of this off. Okay. Everything out of this side off to replace the gaskets on that side because when I first started the car with the turbo, mm -hmm. the gasket popped because of all the uh, the new air going through. Your power steering start, uh, reservoirs here. Yeah, you had to. I had to move it over here. Custom bracket. I made this. I went to Lowe's. Uh -huh. Got some metal, bent it, and then made a new bracket for it to sit over here. And so, where's your AC? Because my AC thing is where, right here. Is my AC right? Oh, right, right there. Here. Yep. No, wait, no, it's power steering. Uh -huh. um, but here's my, you see my AC lines right here. Oh, right there. Yep, and I just covered them with um, heat reflective tape so the heat's not messing with the pipes. Yeah, that's smart, bro. Yeah. Jeez, and you <laughs> saved yourself like oh, yeah. 10 grand oh, doing it in the garage. 10 grand, man. People were hitting me. I was hitting people oh. like, oh, 10 grand, 8 grand. I'm like, for what? Yeah, for what? Bro. If there was like wiring involved and like like ticklish yeah. shit like that, okay, I get it. Yeah. But this is like mechanical, yeah, like bolt on, bolt off. It just takes some time and some millimeter, knowledge. 12 millimeter bolts. That's, and that's, that's literally it. Literally it, man. And my boy went crazy with the Nismo seat covers. I painted the interior gloss black instead of that. That looks black clean, black. bro. Yeah, it looks way more modern, man. And the rears. Bro, this is a brand new car. Like, and your paint's not even bad, bro. Even 2,500 now. Oh and that's God. that's why everything's running so much smoother, man. The because idle. they can just control everything yeah. with that, huh? The revs, everything just weighs fucking smoother. This might be the best, best R33 <laughs> GTR in California. No cap. Oh, and you changed this. Yep, got a Nismo one. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. It's cool. I just wish it was like a little I bit. I feel though like it's not too heavy. Yeah. Like it's not heavy enough. Yeah. That thing, that thing was like 120 bucks. 120 bro, fucking dollars. I was like, whatever, man. I'm just trying to make things. Did you put a short shifter in there? No. No? That's the same one. So, okay. my twins made way, made 12 more horsepower uh -huh. uh, way faster because they're smaller twins. This makes 12 less horsepower and it takes longer to get there. But, okay. The noises that this car makes makes up for that shit. Like, unbelievable. Like, like I don't even care anymore. Like, I at the dyno, I was like, damn, 12 less horsepower. I'm, I'm cooked. Yeah. Go this way. Yeah, turn left. I mean, 12 horsepower, you know, kind of sucks, but like, just the way the power is being delivered yeah. with this is just is greater. But I'm making 60 more horsepower on pump. So I make.
did your shit with this one. Bro. Wait. I bet you're not thinking about selling this shit no more. Yeah. Oh. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I feel like this on the track would be perfect. Bro, yeah. This on the track would be perfect. I don't think you'll be freaking drifting the corners anymore. Because it takes a little bit longer to boost it. Yeah, it'll be perfect. It's perfect, it yeah. Bro, this thing is perfect, bro. God damn. 150,000 right now. I don't even know if I did that. No, nah, you want to take 150? I don't know. Because we're gonna get, I mean, what can you buy nowadays that's fun, rowdy, and have this kind of aura? Like, yeah, like, you can't buy anything. Nah. I'd, I'd take that 150 and buy another Scott one. I'd probably buy a 32 <laughs> and then do the same like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Literally do the same shit. I think. Is that it's leg? <laughs> I don't know. It might be because the new computer does all that shit. That sounds like anti leg, bro. I wonder if I. Because that was not even like a. No, it was holding. It was yeah. holding. I'm out of here. This is what we're doing. Right here. This is unbeatable. Like what what would you do next to this to Cams? Cams. Wake it up a little bit more so I can open back in. Like the car feels happy. Yeah. Your car before didn't feel like anything was wrong. It just felt angry. Like it just wanted to eat shit up. Like I don't know a better way to explain it, but it just felt angry all the time. This thing just feels like it just knows it's gonna fuck you up. Like it just, the confidence. Did somebody take the parking spot? You could park in my driveway if you want or in front of the Supra. These heading home, let's get this start up. It doesn't start, that should be so funny. got some work to do boys if you haven't already hit that like button hit that subscribe button with the help of d skyla is gonna be a monster we also need to make a decision on this car y'all i don't know if y'all can hear that but it, the car just sounds good from a million miles away we also might have to make a decision on Susie, y'all um i love her i'm gonna give her until we put her fully back together if i don't have that same feeling when i drive her I don't know, it might be time to let her go. But I also just can't imagine walking outside and not seeing Susie. We got some thinking to do, boys.